Lawyer for missing mom Jennifer Dulos, estranged husband, says there's an explanation for the bags with her blood on it. Fotis Dulos' lawyer says he can explain why his client allegedly dumped bags in Hartford containing Jennifer's blood the night she vanished. This article is by People Magazine. The estranged husband of missing Connecticut mom Jennifer Dulos was allegedly caught on tape dumping 30 garbage bags that police say contained her blood. Fotis' attorney, Norm Pattis, says there is a reason for that. There is an explanation, but we're not going to give it. Attorney Norm Pattis said Wednesday afternoon, the Stanford Advocate reports. I think we're when we do it, it will appear less troubling. Jennifer was last seen dropping her five kids off at a new Canadian country school in Connecticut on May 24th. Investigators say they believe a serious physical assault took place in the garage of her new Canaan home after they found blood in the garage shortly after she vanished. The arrest warrant states that Jennifer, it says, was the suspected victim. Fotis and his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, were arrested a week after Jennifer's mysterious disappearance. Video footage showed a man, police say, is Fotis dumping more than 30 trash bags containing clothing and sponges stained with Jennifer's blood the night she vanished court records show. They have each pleaded not guilty to the charges of tampering with evidence and hindering prosecution. They are both out on bail. Pattis and the state's attorney did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. On Wednesday morning, Pattis talked about the highly publicized case on the Connecticut-based Chaz and AJ Morning Radio Show on 99.1 WPLR, saying, From our perspective, this very much remains a missing person case, and the solution as to why she is missing is not obvious saying he understands why his client is a suspect, Pat has told the show. Spouses are always the suspect in missing person cases of this sort, and we get it. Something happened, obviously, on the morning of May 24, 2019. We're just not at all sure that Fotis was involved in it. Pat has said he is waiting for the state's attorney to give him police reports, diagrams, and photos from the investigation as part of the discovery process, which should arrive any day now. Norm Pattis answered no when asked if he had come upon any new evidence that would make him concerned for his client. He said he wants more information about the struggle in the garage on the day that Jennifer vanished. Obviously, it's a matter of grave concern to us, he said on the morning show, but I have not yet heard that they have a smoking gun, so to speak. Police have not yet been able to prove video, at least, that Fotis left his house in Farmington, 70 miles north, the morning of May 24th, or that he went to Jennifer's house that day, he said. The videos that we are aware of do not show him leaving or entering either of the houses, Pattis said. Law enforcement, he revealed, is focusing on whether Fotis left his home from the back and entered her home from the back so he wouldn't be seen. We do not have video footage that confirms or denies that, he said on the show. We were told that there is an indication that his cell phone remained at home the entire morning that Michelle, or excuse me, Jennifer went missing, he said, quietly correcting himself. The state arguably believes that because he did not have the cell phone with him, that may, he may have left it at home. Pattis also admitted that he created a little bit of dust up recently, suggesting that Jennifer staged her own disappearance uh, with the Gone Girl theory. Um, Gillian Flynn wrote the best-selling novel, and there was a movie about a woman who vanishes and presumed uh, dead to frame her husband. Flynn, he said, wrote a wonderful book, but fell into the very trap that made her book a commercial success. Sometimes the obvious answer isn't the right answer, as we saw in Gone Girl. 
Do we believe that Miss Doolove's is in hiding somewhere watching this on television, he said, echoing the plot of the book. No, we don't, but we don't believe this is as simple as everyone else seems to be prepared to believe. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. Well, Norm Pattis seems to always be able to explain it all. Um, I wonder how he's going to explain photos being in that surveillance footage disposing of those trash bags that allegedly have Jennifer's blood on it and allegedly some of the items were a garment of Jennifer's and some bloody sponges. Also, I would love to know how he's going to explain Fotis's DNA mixed in with Jennifer's blood on the kitchen faucet. I will agree with Norm Pattis on one thing. Sometimes things are not as they appear to be. Uh, so I'm going to keep an open mind with this case. I'm really hoping and praying that they can find out what happened to Jennifer so that her family can have proper closure and they can give her a proper burial. It's just really sad all the way around. Uh, they've lost their mother and they may lose their father if he's charged for murder and convicted. Very sad, very tragic case.